This is Mark Wu from eProgrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how can we do principal component analysis in MATLAB. First of all, we want to create some data. So we know the characteristic of those data. A is an array for a thousand random data points. B is another array of a thousand data, uh, data points. So if we make a plot of how does it look like of A and B, here is the result. If we make the scale roughly the same, we can see the data disappear within a ellipse. Now we want to rotate the data by 75 degrees. After we do that, we create a set of data that we know the characteristic. R is the rotational matrix. And I rotate the data. So I call X to be the first row of data and call Y to be the second row of data. Now I plot the rotated data on the same figure. This is after the rotation, now I start to do the principal component analysis. This is the syntax of the principal component analysis. And this is the result of the principal component analysis. If we compare it with our rotation matrix, we can see that they are very close. So basically, yes, the principal component analysis can tell us the rotational matrix. And if you Look at what is, if you see what is the input in the principal component analysis, and it is a thousand rows by two columns data. Now, we are going to do some more. We change the Y. This is the original Y plus 10, so we shift everything up. Not only rotation, we also do a translation. And we put it on the previous figure.
that is the rotational matrix. If we do the principal component analysis again, that is the result. Basically, from here we can see that the translation will not affect the result of the principal component analysis.